Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up at the pond again today. Um, when I dug this, it was just before Christmas and filled it up and it was about the middle of January, I think, where a plot neighbour from the top of the site here brought me some pondweed down just to get, get things kick-started because as such it was a sterile pond. It was just a cover in a hole with water in and that was freezing every day. So. That was put in and the end result now is I've got a couple of weeds in there, that, that's fine, that's what you need, they're oxygenators, and a whole host of tadpoles. Now, at a tadpole's first stage of its life, it's vegetarian, that changes later as it starts to get back legs. Now, these tadpoles, I haven't actually seen any with back legs, but I know from the time span since they were born that it's not that far away. So. I've got to feed them because there's nothing else in that pond. There's only weed and tadpoles. And you can buy some, this, what they call late stage tadpole feed. And you're supposed to feed it to them when they get their back legs. So just a pinch a day and that takes care of it. Now, I know most people would, or many people would just leave it and not bother and let nature take its course. And that would probably work. But I feel kind of responsible for them. I've built the pond. Uh, I've put all this in there, in here and you know I want them to survive and go and eat slugs and things afterwards and increase the wildlife of this plot so for the sake of a couple of quid I'll buy some of this stuff pop it in and everything's good <laughs> okay I'm going to harvest some uh, purple sprouting broccoli today and this has done really well this year I mean they're perfect spears the steaming or stir frying, uh, absolutely delicious. I mean, some people will will take them when they're like that, but I prefer to take them when they're a little bit bigger and they've got more of the broccoli on and I think they've got more flavour. They take a little, 30 seconds longer to cook, but, um, and they're both just as good, but I prefer the bigger ones. I feel like I'm getting more for my money. <laughs> so I'll take a big pile of this up and we'll have it for tea. There'll probably be enough here, I think, for tea tonight and tomorrow. And then I'll come back for a second picking in a, in a week or so's time. I have already had some of this off. I mean, this is going to be enough for one meal, just off the one plant here. So I'll totally strip this one and you know that's a that's a good meal for the tubers there so I'll take this as well and this is a very good value plant because if you buy this in the supermarket this stuff you'll pay a couple of quid for I don't know 10 or 12 stalks so when you can pick I mean I've probably got five or six pounds worth in the basket there already so that's a very good value plant and it's really welcome at this time of the year so there we go I'll come back and pick off the other plants Another day, we might get, there's a few more coming through on there, so we'll get, get more harvest off these plants uh, over the next couple of weeks. <laughs> right, I'll go pick something else then. So these are the last of my leeks here. And funnily enough, although I love it, I love leek and potato soup. I don't think I've made any this winter. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some of these and make a batch of soup up and I can freeze that and we can be using that over the coming months. So these were multi-sown, that's why we have the smaller with the larger. I also really like 
to use leaks in the bottom of a roasting tin under a meter or something so we've got that option later in the week I like them with cheese sauce, oh I like leeks anyway and I particularly like using them to chop up in place of onions adds a very unique flavour to dishes that were anywhere where you would use chopped onions basically so I'll probably pull half of these for now and that'll be enough to make a decent pot of soup up so we can have a portion again multi sown so that's in a nice bunch make a nice portion to eat one night this week or a lunch and then a few portions to go away in the freezer so there we go so I'm just giving these a quick kitchen trim just to take off majority of the I don't wash them until I, until I get them home I just trimmed down some of the stuff that the, that is excess I want a good amount of the green leek as well as the as well as the white And I'm not really peeling off the outside layers, just if they if they look a bit ropey while I'm here I will, but otherwise I'll say I'll do all that at home when I've, I've given them a good wash. I'll just take them out into the garden and use the outside tap there just to clean them up. So since I uh, took this uh, little carrot cage off these wallflowers have come into bloom so I'm going to cut a few uh, just to take home and it'll be a small amount but it'll make a nice little vase of happy So that's our little harvest for today, basket of leeks, basket of broccoli, purple sprouting broccoli and a few wallflowers for the vase, lovely jubbly. Right so there we go, it was a good day down the allotment today, we've managed to feed us, managed to feed the tadpoles and we've even fed our soul with some flowers so that's, that's absolutely wonderful. So that's it for today, look after yourselves everyone, take care and I'll see you very very soon.